Friends, hello! In this video, I will tell you how to make changes to a photo, whether it's your own photo or one generated using Leonardo or another neural network, but how to make changes to it selectively and make it more impressive. I managed to create such an impressive and formidable orc in Leonardo as part of my experiments, and in the end, I turned it into such a cheerful, happy archer as if the photo was taken for his mother or grandmother on vacation. So let's start altering the pictures. So let's go straight to Leonardo, but instead of going to AI image generation, which you are already acquainted with, let's go a bit lower to AI canvas, which provides a distinct set of features. This mechanic allows you to make changes to some images. As I have already mentioned before, it doesn't matter how and by whom they were created. So, Initially, we need to directly upload the image. I will upload the picture from the computer. I will select the identical orc that was demonstrated at the very start. Here it is suitable. And the next thing you need to do is change the dimensions of this area, the region in the center. This is the same area within which these changes will be made. So I'm maximizing the size to the maximum extent possible. And for instance, I require a ratio of 16 to 9. I will diminish it a little. As you can see, I will have to make a slight alteration to the size of the original image, but it is not that frightening. It's not a major concern. If you need to scale it, you will have the ability to do it at a later time. Here, for instance, I position my character directly in the center. In general, I just need to specify the prompt that Leonardo will work with for the overall task at hand. I possess a minuscule blank. The first prompt requires drawing the background of the image. That is quite simple, understandable, not detailed, there is nothing in it. You have the option to choose the fine-tune model, in my case it is absolute reality. I do not change anything here anymore in principle. The larger the size of the workspace, the work area, the correspondingly fewer generations you can make at once, keep this in mind. So, let's generate. Now Leonardo will finish drawing the background. To this image, and an important point, he will not randomly arrange it, he will still analyze it first, what is on the image, take the entire color palette, color scheme, light, take into account what was depicted on the image before. That is, you see, I did not tell him that there should be palm trees there, there should be plants there, there should be sky there. He immediately calculated all this. That is, a simple prompt to complete the necessary fragment of the image is enough for him. And since I have two options, there is a switch 1.2 below, the first option and the second option. In the first choice, I do not really like that some peculiar things occurred with my hands. So I opt for the second choice and click on accept. So we confirm that this picture is suitable for us perfectly. Moving on to the next stage. I desire to exchange these orc necklaces on his behalf. I intend to have them transformed into tropical flowers. What do I need to do for this? Now we will make a direct change to the picture. To do this, go to the draw mask option. Uh, select the mask. We can adjust the size of this mask to be smaller or larger as per your preference. In my particular circumstance, a total of 110 pixels will be adequate. We highlight all the elements that we desire to replace. So these things here I will be modifying. Everything he has on his neck, on his chest. I take my second piece of prompt this is a beautiful, bright necklace made of tropical flowers. All right, I'm copying it. I insert it here, and we will also generate two options. However, if we reduce the size of our image in this particular case, that is, we have the ability to do it like this, adjusting the size of the working area. I mean, we can select it and move it to this location. So why does he need to generate something that does not need to be generated? Do you agree? And in this case, I can make up to four images by reducing this area, and that's it, generating. Once again, he will consider the light and color of your incoming image, taking them into account in his evaluation process. This is a big plus, because I actually expected to see, here I am writing, beautiful bright flowers. I had an expectation of encountering something garish, acidic, that would not fit well into the overall picture. Contrary to expectations, this is not actually happening. We are witnessing positive results, a successful integration of our new prompt into the previously created image. Here are a few options. These are not bad. These, for example, there are more of them available here. Looks awesome. We also utilize this tool. 
Following that, I will proceed to make my picture even smaller in size, because currently I solely desire to collaborate with his head. I aspire to bring about a smile on his face. I'll make him a cap later. There might be some other headgear, but let's begin with a smile, most likely. So, a cheerful smile with sharp fangs. Let's endeavor to craft a simple and joyful smile. You will get to see firsthand how this smile, which is completely toothless, is distinctly different and stands out from the rest. So, let's generate. Let's even make a total of six different options for us to choose from. The area has become smaller, while the number of available options has grown. Therefore, let's take a closer look at the smile. The initial picture is not cheerful at all. Something went wrong with the second and third pictures. Therefore, I will make adjustments to the area now to change the overall mood a little bit. The dimensions of the image I have. I intend to increase its size slightly in order to make it larger and more visually impactful. And we launch once more for the second time. I hope he will not let me down. Happy. Oh, what did I not do? I did not create a mask, my friends. I completely forgot about the mask. So, using a mask, we emphasize all the areas that require modification, specifically the region around the mouth and beneath the nose, with a slightly greater emphasis. I will ensure that all the necessary changes are made, and then we regenerate the image. In our particular scenario, we now have a total of four choices. The initial choice is rather cartoonish, amusing, and grotesque in nature. There is an issue with the teeth, therefore these choices are typically satisfactory but I do not perceive anything exceptional about them. Therefore I will continue to go back to my previous request. I am wearing a happy smile revealing my fangs. So this option will be more relevant to my request. So I click cancel here and generate again with a modified prompt to meet my requirements. His amazing captivating smile as we are able to observe, it ended up slightly improved. Here, take a look. The teeth have become sharper in this area. Even the curves are a little Shrek-like here. However, I will select maybe these teeth. They appear to be in good condition. Then I proceed to click on the Apply button. The following mask. I would like to create a wrapper cap for him. Here, he is without a hat on the beach. This necessitates being fixed. Consequently, once again, I opt for everything that we need to change. I will even handle it. I will make a slight adjustment to the position of our image in order to address the issue at hand. However, he is not always selected, which is something they did not consider. Well, I believe that will be sufficient. And a cap with the logo of a wrapper, typically worn in baseball style. It is a fragment of my prompt. And once more, we generate a total of four options. And ultimately, what we will do let us attempt to include some background I do not know, another figure, perhaps some animal, something along those lines. So, and like an animal. However, let it be perhaps a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Zavar the fearsome dinosaur. Moving in the direction of the camera. Here, let's observe what unfolds as a result of this situation. So, we have different options for caps. Blue doesn't suit him. On the other hand, white looks really cool on him. This is not a cap at all. Well, I will leave the white one. Let us suppose like this. Great. Lastly, my objective is to expand my working space, as mentioned earlier. What I plan to do now is to increase the size of my working area and create a mask where we will place a running dinosaur on the camera. Then I will simply copy the translation using the most basic translation in Diplo and observe the outcome. However, in the first version, we only had some randomly selected dinosaurs. So, by enlarging the area of my working space and implementing the mask, I aim to achieve a more visually appealing result with a realistic looking dinosaur. In second version, there's a dinosaur but not running towards camera. Also pay attention, cool moment. All of our focus is on the character in the foreground. Therefore, everything that is in the background is in some way out of focus. And Leonardo considers all these moments as well. So currently, I actually don't quite like the option. I will attempt to create an additional one with an alternative mask. In all probability, I will create a mask that is considerably larger in size so as to give it a powerful appearance. Allow it to be positioned here directly above it, right next to it. Let us observe if something emerges from it. Thus, we have achieved success. He made quite a significant change to the background, eliminating the palm trees. Oh, well, it did not work out. 
objectively it did not work out. Probably it was not the best prompt. However, in one way or another, the outcome that has been attained at this point is absolutely ideal for me. Our vacation was filled with friendly encounters and fun activities, making it a truly enjoyable and memorable experience for all of us. And to download the resulting image in its entirety with all the changes, you simply need to click on the Download Artwork button. So let's take a look at what we have here. Furthermore, the image is not the tiniest, with a size of 2.2 megabytes. Here is our amazing, fantastic, wonderful, excellent, relaxing, positive, and stress-free environment with no negativity. In this way, you will be able to change small details, and maybe even significant things in your images, add background without much effort, taking into account the content of your picture. This tool is truly remarkable. Will it revolutionize the Photoshop experience for newcomers, becoming an essential game changer that transforms the way beginners approach graphic design? Possible. The main thing is that these people know about it. They will be able to quickly and realistically change their images. And now to conclude this video, I would like to have a little bit of fun. I have found one. Now I am going to delete all the things that I did in this place. I found a single picture in the community that I want to remove. Accordingly, Leonardo, this is a picture. Where is it? Here it is. Displaying a captivating illustration of Tomb Raider, I am eager to utilize it. I will incorporate her into this setting, ensuring precise placement. And let's attempt to alter her perspective. Make our way towards something out of the ordinary. Perhaps on the head of Gollum, as an instance. From the Lord of the Rings. So here you can truly have a small amount of enjoyment. Now I will change the image. Let it be not 3x2, but 1x1. 3x2, 1x1. Hey! On a one-to-one -one basis, all the essential components are present. I am in the process of moving our region to the appropriate location. I will also slightly enlarge the picture. Additionally, I can even increase its size like this, if needed. At present, I am in the act of writing a commercial request. More specifically, I am focusing on the heading section of the request. What is the matter? What kind of emotion should he have? Joyful, let it be joyful. Everything is connected with happiness for me today. Happy. Head of a happy golem from the Lord of the Rings. That is all of the information. It encompasses everything that has been discussed and is derived solely from a source of power. The Lord of the Rings. All the details are correct. That's the way it is. Please do not forget about the mask, as I did earlier today. I make sure to highlight everything, including the hair, collar, neck, and this entire area as a whole. Not very carefully, it does not really matter. And let us create eight different options for consideration. I want to observe variability. So let's examine what we have obtained. Here, apparently still naked in its early development stage with hair, there are such Happiness, of course, is a dubious emotion for him. This is such, such like this, just like that, you know. Here, a capable head, a cheerful naked person, something good to offer. Apparently, something amazing occurred to him during this week. In other words, you have the opportunity to experiment, fool around, perhaps even joke with friends or create some small fake pictures but it is imperative that it is done only with good intentions. So be sure to subscribe to me, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the upcoming videos. Thank you for your support.